long ago in a place far no away as Willbrook. Now in Willbrook, people were happy. The grass was green, the birds were chirping. All was well in the city. Until one day, Alexander Blackwood moved into the town. Now Blackwood was a handsome <coughs> man. He was not only born into money, but his father was born into money. And his father's 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 father were all born into money. To say that this guy had a silver spoon was an understatement. Now when he moved in, the first thing that he did was bought the biggest bank the world had ever seen. In fact, he had so much money, he actually bought all the local government, including all the judges, the mayor, he handpicked every single local government in office. His greed was unquenchable. Stealing from the locals, he would probably break a child's arm if given Now the Blackwood and his unquenchable thirst for more and more resources created a Ponzi scheme. This Ponzi scheme targeted out the poorest of the town of Willowbrook. To say that they were less fortunate is an understatement. He promised them they could have the house of their dreams. All they had to do was sign dotted line. Now what he didn't tell him was the interest rate on this dotted line would constantly go up month after month after month until they would never be able to pay it off at all. The only way that the poor would stay afloat is by getting more and more loans, making the bubble bigger and bigger and bigger until one day, it all came crashing down and the bubble popped. The chickens came home to crow. There was a bill that had to be paid. Now you might be thinking that Mr. Blackwood, since he had all that money, would be the rightful payer of this bill. But unfortunately in this story, that's not how things went. Because if you remember from the beginning, he purchased all the local government. And the local government passed a bill that forced all the taxpayers of the town to bail out all the losses. This, unfortunately, sent the people of Willowbrook into a depression like the one they have never seen. Many of them lost their jobs. A lot of them went hungry. Their families separated. Some even resorted to drugs and alcohol. What was Mr. Blackwood doing during all this? Was he sad? Was he remorseful? Did he get punished for all his crimes against this town? Unfortunately, no. Not only that, he had more money than ever because all the taxpayer dollars went to him. One day, the people of Willowbrook were so mad and so frustrated with everything that transpired, they started to destroy the whole town. They were knocking over street lights. They were rioting in the streets. The people were screaming. The people were roaring in all the chaos. One of them chucked up a bottle of Jack that was lit on fire, right hurling towards the gas station. This caused a flame on the ground to erupt, dashing straight towards the pump, causing it a huge explosion. Even worse, the huge explosion was right next to a radioactive plant, causing an even bigger explosion. But from all the darkness, all the chaos, all of the corruption, an unlikely hero was born. Blake, with a strong will, a moral compass to do what is right, regardless of who it was for or who it was against. And all he ever wanted was to protect the beloved people of Willow. He was determined to shield the town from the evil clutches and the rich Mr. Blackwood. Now the problem with our hero is he could only protect the town if more than half the people believed in him, which in the beginning, nobody believed They in cast him. him off to the side, passed him off as a reject. A few years had passed and the people of the town began to pick up the remains. While it hadn't grown anywhere near the height of its prime, not even close. It was at least manageable at this even point. Even though the damage of many generations of people had been done, during this time, the people of Willowbrook had all but forgotten about the corruption and greed of Mr. Blackwood. They were too self-absorbed in their own destruction to remember how he had gotten away Scott. Now, Free. during this time, Blake had created his own currency to avoid the destruction of Blackwood altogether. Now at first, it was only a couple of people that used this currency, but gradually it started to pick up more and more steam. And the more steam it picked up, the more people that heard about it. And the more the people that heard about it, the more steam it picked up. The people of Willowbrook were finally starting to get a little bit of hope. That is, until Blackwood caught word of this new currency. The local authorities immediately threw Blake in jail. They locked him up and threw away the key. And the people of Willowbrook, they felt hopeless 
yet again. Blackwood was more powerful than ever. Now I know what you're thinking. Our hero's just gonna bust out of prison and save the day, right? Well, that's not what happened at all. Because the people lost hope in Blake, therefore he lost all of his power. All the while, Blackwood was getting more and more powerful. In fact, one day he was so powerful that when people tried to withdraw their money from the bank, he told them they needed a justifiable reason from the mayor himself. Which the mayor worked for Blackwood. This went on for a while until none of the people had any money for basic things like food, while Blackwood had all the money. The people got fed up with they it. They got another riot together, but this time they stormed the prison and busted Blake out of prison. Blake only wanted to help the people. He just needed someone to believe and in him. And he was overwhelmed with joy that the whole town was there supporting him. This gave him the strength to finally take on Blackwood. And he did, and he won. The people stopped using Blackwood's currency altogether. And his multi-million dollar mansion got repossessed. The people all began to use Blake's currency, which was decentralized. Meaning it wasn't controlled by any person. Because it was decentralized, they were able to put good, hardworking people in office that really cared about Willowbrook. Because it was decentralized, this meant that the game couldn't be rigged and it couldn't be corrupted. Thus, the people of Willowbrook took back all the and power. And slowly but surely, they built back their town better than ever. And they threw Blackwood in prison for all his crimes for the rest of his days. Now, what if I told you this fictional story was actually based on a true the story. The people of Willowbrook are actually you and me. Alexander Blackwood is the banks in all their corruption. The real story is a UK bank really did tell their people that they couldn't withdraw their money without a justifiable reason. Just like now, in, in our real story. life, the bank had over $28 billion under asset management. And Blake from our story is actually Bitcoin. like Blake. It just wants the truth. And it only works for the good of all if half the people use so it. So we can cut out the evil corruption of the banking system once and for all. The destruction and chaos from our story was the 2008 financial crisis. Which just like in our story, Blake was born after that destruction, so too was Bitcoin. Was born after the 2008 financial crisis. This crisis, like in our story, was caused nothing more but by greed and corruption, which like in our story, was coordinated with the government. And just like in our story, the taxpayers really were the ones that bailed out the government and the banking system. And just like in our story, none of the bankers really did get in trouble for all of this lies, greed, and corruption. This story may be over, but ours is still being written.